I had the privilege and blessing to participate in the humanitarian mission to Rwanda, and I'm part of the Face the Future Foundation team. The Face the Future Foundation team is a, is a pro bono organization which brings together a team of some of the best surgeons in the country to go to Rwanda, a country which has been ravaged by genocide and really has not had a plastic surgeon in country for the last 25 years. And so we go as a team and offer comprehensive facial plastic surgery. And the United States was so blessed and privileged to have craniofacial surgeons and facial plastic surgeons, which provide comprehensive cleft lip and palate care. In places like Rwanda, this care is not available. That's why I go to Rwanda, because I feel like I could bring a comprehensive approach to either treat the baby with a cleft lip and palate deformity, the child with a jaw abnormality, or the adult with a bite problem. Last year and this coming year, we treated patients with head and neck cancer and head and neck tumors. There are patients with uh, tumors who are very large, very disfiguring, and we were able to treat those patients in Rwanda. We treated a child with an ameloblastoma, it's a skull-based tumor, which had displaced the child's eye, and the child had difficulty seeing and had a disfiguring deformity, which caused the child really a lot of um, emotional problems, uh, as well as there was remaining tumor which was not removed. And so myself and Dr. Long from the Cleveland Clinic and Dr. Bohemi from Johns Hopkins uh, did a combination surgery to remove the tumor, reconstruct the orbit, and then use a leg bone, the fibula, to reconstruct the face. The child woke up and touched his face and smiled for the first time in years. The medical system in Rwanda is really growing and it's really improving and I believe that in future years and with a continued partnership with humanitarian organizations such as Face the Future Foundation, I think that Rwanda will have an improved healthcare system in years to come.